As fall makes its permanent stance, we are reminded that winter is just around the corner. Finishing the insulation was crucial, but the wood stove must become fully functional. Over the last few weeks, I haven't been able to make it up to the lodges frequently. Nevertheless, D managed to document some of the work. First thing we're doing today is finishing up the chimney. I had three three foot sections and we didn't need that many so took one back and got another uh, foot another 12 inch so we'll add that to the top like that and then also put the universal bracket up there to help stabilize and then we are completely done as we go inside and the fireplace is done and good in here on a heat protected shield and I'm going to put one in the back behind it because we always hang our utensils for using to stoke the fire and everything so we should be good it is completed nice and level Can work. Smoke's coming out of it. It's moving up the ladder. First opportunity to try it. The next item on the agenda was to put in the patio door. Today is patio day. Cut open the opening. And now we'll slide it in. Sorry, no GoPro, so you'll see the end result. And it is installed. I have it there clean up yet and we'll do some trim yet but she's in there and perfect works great outside put this railing on to extend it to make it safer instead of having a drop off as we go along and now we have the deck leveled and patio door in, sealed, done, and a uh, gutter up there so it doesn't just drip right on you when you're walking out, which we've had before. So that's what we have done. Now that the wood stove was fully operational, it was time to build the walls to the bathroom and first level bedroom, then to install and plumb the bathroom fixtures.
Unfortunately, at this point, the GoPro died and the boys didn't have the extra batteries along. However, they were able to finish building the walls to the bathroom and first level bedroom. So the boys are putting some skirting on right now and it's either brown or green and allegedly I'm the tie-breaking pick. And I'm gonna be honest, just looking at it through the camera, I think we're gonna have to go with brown because the green with the uh, color, it just looks kind of blah. Yep. Who chose green? Blake. That was Blake. No, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, getting the skirting on. Finishing up the plumbing and having bathroom fixtures means that having to use the outhouse is soon going to be a thing of the past. I never gave a proper viewing of our luxury outhouse, so here you go. Please enjoy. We have a heater for those crisp early mornings, self-folding squatty potty steps, and a nice exhaust system. Now I can't promise when the next video will be up, but you can expect somewhere between 4 to 5 years.